Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And what I have here is some kind of factory. I'm using the uh, conveyor belt system that's new. I'm in debug mode just because I want to play around with things. So I'm going to explain what the heck I have here. It's a little bit of a self-contained factory. So over here at the beginning, we've got a bunch of morbs that are making polluted oxygen, which goes through these uh, airflow tiles. And then the puffs, they eat the polluted oxygen and poop out slime. And then this little arm here, let's speed things up. This little auto sweeper, it picks up the slime, puts it into this. Blah. So this auto sweeper, it picks up the slime that these puffs are pooping out. And it sends it to two places if we look at the uh, automation overlay. Which has disappeared from my game. So if we look at the new uh, conveyor overlay here, we can see the slime is going, it's splitting. Half of it's going over to the right here, which I'll explain in a bit, and half of it's going to this uh, conveyor receptacle. The slime goes into this algae distiller, and algae comes out, and this uh, auto sweeper sticks it in the algae deoxidizer. And when the, t there's a bit of automation on here, so if the pressure falls below 200, this kicks on, generates oxygen for our little dupe up here, Turner. And Turner doesn't have a toilet, so he just uh, pees on the floor, and we collect the pee in here, and we send it over to our fertilizer makers. So you can see the algae distiller also sends the polluted water over to fertilizer makers. And the fertilizer makers spit out fertilizer, and the hatches eat it and spit out coal. And these uh, auto sweepers here pick up the coal, put it in this hopper. That goes over to this uh, receptacle. And this auto sweeper grabs the coal, puts it in the coal generator. And CO2 fills up in here. So we pump it out, we use a filter. And then we send the CO2 over to our grow room and some slicksters. And these slicksters are eating the CO2 for us and generating oil. Now we got a little grow room here with uh, mushrooms. They need CO2 and slime. So some of the slime is coming over here. It's kind of stacking up. And this auto sweeper grabs, this, grabs the slime, fertilizes the mushrooms. And it also grabs the mushrooms once they're done growing. Puts it in this out box, or this inbox. And that goes over this way, up this way. And it, sh and it dumps in right here. And then Turner can get his food out of here. Now he is uh, making a bit of power here, but he doesn't really need to. There's enough power that comes from the coal generator and the natural gas generator. So the natural gas builds up in here from the fertilizer makers. It's filtered out and goes into the natural gas generator. Excess CO2 goes to the slicksters and the grow room. Got a few wheeze warts in here just to cool things down. So it's kind of a small closed loop. The only thing that's not really closed is that I don't do anything with this oil. I could set up like a magma plate and turn the oil into natural gas and feed the natural gas in here. Oh man. And the game is very unstable right now. It keeps crashing on me. We'll be right back. And we're back after that crash. <laughs> I'm not sure what's causing the crash, but hopefully it's uh, fixed before they go live in about a week. It could be because I have too many puffs or morbs here. There's actually not that many. There's about 20 of each. It's pretty fun to watch them. So this little arm here, it's it's auto sweeper. It's working a little bit over time because it's picking up tiny amounts of slime. I tried putting pressure plates here to try to make it so you only pick it up once it reaches a certain weight, but it was kind of tricky to hook up. So it's just pretty simple right now. It's pretty fun to set this up. At the end of this video, I'll do a little time lapse of me building it. I just realized the CO2 is probably going to get stuck down in this corner. There's some optimizations I could do for sure. But it's cool that it's using <laughs> that it's using the uh, new automation system. And I'll be right back. And we're back. 
Uh, hopefully it won't crash in the next few minutes. Uh, I'll just do all the overlays so you can see what's going on here. Oxygen. The wiring. It does use quite a bit of power. But not everything is running at once. Uh, we got temperature. The uh, body heat version. Lighting. Piping. Not much piping going on. Gas piping. Decor doesn't matter because I'm playing on uh, the easiest settings so they won't stress out. Germs. And plants. Rooms and... That's a screenshot. <laughs> so that's just kind of some of the stuff you can do with the conveyor belts and automation. You could, in theory, set this up in the real system, I think, because you could move, you could get morbs from toilets and you could uh, use lures to get puffs into one area. Probably not as many as I got here, but it's definitely possible. I hope in the future with animals and creatures, you'll be able to breed them. Um, so you can kind of get more in case you kill some by mistake. So yeah, as I mentioned, after this, after I kind of end things, I'll do a little time lapse. But I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was fun to build and I'll probably refine it a little bit. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.